Hello friends, in the last video we have proved uh, some theorems of linear combination. We have seen the conditions for collinearity of two vectors and coplanarity of three vectors. Now, now we are finding value of position vector uh, in two dimension geometry and its magnitude also. So we know that to we know that while studying plane we are using two dimensional geometry x axis and this y axis divide the plane in how many part four part each part is called as quadrant so where point of intersection of x axis and y axis is called as origin so let let us denote this x axis by x o x dash and y axis by y o y dash okay so where o y is nothing but positive direction of y axis o x is positive direction of x axis in the same way o x dash is negative direction of x axis and o y dash is negative direction of y axis all these things you have studied in your earlier uh, earlier classes now let us consider one point is there in the plane let its coordinates are say 3 comma 4 means here x coordinate is 3 so we can say that this distance will be equals to 3 here so here 1 2 3 and here y coordinate is 4 means here we are getting what 4 here means here 1 2 3 4 4 is there so now we will we will discuss about definition of x coordinate and y coordinate so this x coordinate we are measuring on what x axis y coordinate we are measuring on what y axis but actually this 3 this 3 unit is nothing but what this distance this distance is also equals to 3 unit and this distance is how much this distance is equal to how much 4 unit now observe that this 3 means what this 3 means x coordinate where x coordinate is what distance of the point from y axis so that's why here we have written that x coordinate is nothing but distance of a point from y axis in the same way this 4 4 means what 4 is the distance of the point from x axis means y coordinate is defined as distance of a point from x axis x coordinate means distance from y axis y coordinate means distance from x axis all these things are very well known to you now we are discussing how to find out position vector position vector of this point with respect to what origin o so already we know that i cap is nothing but a unit vector i cap is a unit vector along which axis x axis and j cap is the unit vector along what y axis now if, if it is a unit vector means if you are multiplying to it by 3 so it, we will get a new vector which new vector 3 i cap along what x axis or we can say that in the direction of i cap so i cap is a unit vector its magnitude is how much 1 it is unit vector means magnitude is 1 if you are multiplying to i cap by what 3 we will get a new vector new vector whose magnitude is 3 units so means here we can say that if we are denoting this point say by q so we can say that o q bar o q bar will be equals to how much 3 i cap because i cap is a unit vector and we have multiplied to this vector by 3 so we have got a new vector along i cap means along x axis whose magnitude is equal to how much 3 units now if we are multiplying to this j cap by 4 we will get a new vector 4 j cap in the direction in the direction of j cap now its magnitude is equal to 4 unit uh, let us denote here this point say by r means we can say that o r bar o r bar is equal to 4 j cap so whatever we, now vector we are studying about free vector free vector can be moved anywhere without changing its magnitude and direction this distance is also 4 unit and this distance is also how much 4 unit and direction is also same so we are able to denote this vector also by what 4 j cap because these two vectors are equal vector their magnitudes are equal and directions are same so now join these two points join the point o and p in this case two sides of a triangle are represented by 3 i cap and one side is represented by what 4 j cap that's why we are able to apply triangle law of vector addition and our triangle law of vector addition says that if, two, if uh, two sides of a triangle are represented by two vectors, then the third side represents their resultant. Means third side is resultant means sum of these two vectors. So here we will get 3i cap plus 4j cap. 
according to a triangle law factor addition means here what result we have got here op bar op bar is equal to 3i cap plus 4j cap and in this way we are defining the position vector of a point in a plane so now hope the ideas are clear now how we have got this result is not important applying triangle law we have got this result but now if the coordinate of a point are known to us easily we are able to define the position vector of this point with respect to origin if the coordinate of the point are 3 4 then we can say that its position vector is 3i cap plus 4j cap in the same way if coordinate of a point are what x y then we can say that position vector of this point with respect to origin is xi cap plus yj cap hope the idea about how to find out the position vector is clear to you now if if the coordinate of a point are say 5 and 6 at that time what will the position vector 5y cap plus 6j cap isn't it now value of position vector is known to us it is position vector means it has magnitude also and direction also now we are discussing how to find out its magnitude magnitude means what length length of this vector now if you observe this vector here it is a right and can i say that it is right angle triangle yes it is right angle triangle because this angle is of 90 degree so now uh, since it is a right angle triangle that's why we are able to apply pythagoras theorem here according to pythagoras theorem what is the value of op square op square is equal to oq square plus qp square so which is equal so what is the value of op op is nothing but 3 and what is the value of this qp this length will be equals to how much 4 so 4 square after simplifying it we will get the value of uh, op square now what result we, so this implies that op is equal so what is the value of op under root 3 square plus 4 square isn't it so applying this formula after simplifying we will get definitely we will get op just simply we have taken square root on both sides if we are taking square root of this left hand side square will get cancelled if we are taking square root of this side we will get under root 3 square plus 4 square after simplifying definitely we will get the length but now instead of 3 4 if the coordinates are denoted by what x y if coordinate of coordinates are 3 comma 4 at that time here what result we have got under root 3 square plus 4 square instead of 3 4 if the coordinates are x y then what will the magnitude magnitude will be equals to under root x square plus y square this result we have got applying applying which formula pythagoras theorem now every time we are not applying pythagoras theorem once the position vector of a point is given to us let us suppose that position vector is xi bar plus yj bar then to find out its magnitude simple method is there under root x square plus y square what is x x is nothing but coefficient of i cap and y is nothing but what coefficient of j cap so using this method we are able to find out magnitude and position vector Again, try to understand if coordinates are given, easily we are able to define what? Position vector. If coordinates are x, y, then position vector is x, i cap plus y, j cap. And magnitude is what? Under root x square plus y square. Uh, now, we are discussing about three-dimensional geometry. In the next video, we will discuss about three-dimensional geometry. Where, when we are using three-dimensional geometry, how to define x coordinate y coordinate z coordinate and all the different all the different result related with three dimensional geometry in detail